think Martin. Good Sunday morning, everybody. You know, for one way or another, for about the past 22 years, I've been doing uh, crime stopping, crook catching programs here at Fox 11. Back in the 80s, it was Crime Stop 11. That morphed into America's Most Wanted, uh, and here I am. We now do LA's Most Wanted every Saturday night. Uh, Fox 11 uh, News at 10 o'clock. But, you know, that's only a three-minute segment. We wanted to use a more long-form sort of thing, and today we have the opportunity to do that. Back in November, here in California, voters passed the uh, Crime, Victims Rights, um, Crime Victims' Rights and Protection Act of 2008, otherwise known as, the, as Marcy's Law. Marcy was Marky, Marcy Nicholas. Uh, her mother and her brother are here today. They have pushed for all sorts of things involving the rights of uh, the victims of crimes and their families. Um, Marcella Leach. You're Marcy's mom, and over at the other end of the table is Henry Nicholas. Um, where do we stand now? It was passed, but not by a really big margin. Uh, and there's been, some, there's been some challenges. Uh, is it going to go forward? Uh, yes, it's going forward. I, we, we have to push really for the implementation of Marcy's Law, the full implementation. But um, uh, there has been one challenge. Um, one of the fundamental rights that we have under Marcy's Law is to have victims' voices heard. Mm -hmm. and. Um, a, a right for standing and a right to be present at all criminal proceedings, all very important proceedings mm -hmm. in the criminal justice process. Mm -hmm. And in, I, I believe it was Yolo County. We have in Northern California. Northern California, uh, the mother of a, uh, a murder victim was excluded from the courtroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, because they felt that uh, just her presence in the courtroom would be prejudicial to the jury. Well, um, we appealed that decision on the basis of Marcy's law, that mm -hmm. this was a violation of her constitutional rights. And uh, just recently, that appeal was, uh, was upheld. Okay. And so um, the judge um, actually now has to explain his rationale and provide a justification mm -hmm. for why it's, it's important for the due process and fairness of the trial process to have her excluded. Beyond that now, what happens as far as implementation? Are we able to get courts in all of the counties in California to um, respect this, um, this new, it's actually a constitutional. Well, it's their constitutional right. mandate now. Right. I mean, that's, that's what's so significant about this not just being statutory, about it being constitutional. Because right. right. this is a constitutional guarantee right now in our state. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as implementation, I've, I've actually been very, very pleased with the efforts by um, all the different local law enforcement agencies to act on the notification provisions. Mm -hmm. One of the most important rights that uh, crime victims now have is the right to be read their rights. Mm -hmm. So everyone knows about Miranda rights. Right. And that's, that's a very important um, obligation that law enforcement has to mm -hmm. let criminals know what their rights are. Well, it turns out now there's a Marcy card that every law enforcement professional, every prosecutor has to have and when they encounter a crime victim, mm -hmm. they have to read that crime victim their Marcy rights. In fact, mm -hmm. a great many uh, local agencies now, in fact, I believe in, uh, in Orange County, they now send out uh, actually a letter as well, enumerating those rights as well as reading from the Marcy's card. Mm -hmm. um, Mrs. Leach, uh, tell us about Marcy. <coughs> well, Marcy was uh, a senior at uh, the University of California, Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. She only had two more quarters to finish, mm -hmm. and she wanted to teach handicapped children. Mm -hmm. In fact, while we're talking about this, we've got some pictures, we've got some video that we can roll of yeah. her. Um, she was she? a great horsewoman, yeah. loved, uh, very, very talented, uh, was qualified for Madison Square Garden, but we couldn't afford to send her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on her horse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she loved to take care of people. She was always bringing home uh, somebody that needed work and school. Uh, when she was even in the, I think, junior high school, mm -hmm. she brought in a little girl that she said her father was going to uh, whip her if she didn't make a B in the class. Oh. And uh, she tutored her. She's that type of girl, sure. and she wanted to teach. As I say, I was a teacher, but I didn't mm -hmm. really want to teach special ed. It takes mm -hmm. a special kind of person to mm -hmm. do that. It, it seems as though we lost someone who could have contributed so much to, to the world. Absolutely. Oh, I think she, she could have, she, she would have certainly helped a lot of mm -hmm. people, and she was uh, just a kind, considerate, wonderful person. Part of the 
impetus for what has now is Marcy's Law. You actually encountered the fellow who ultimately was convicted of murdering her after uh, she had been killed? Uh, yes, uh, those days. Uh, uh, unfortunately, in those days, um, he was arrested for the murder. Well, I just should start at the beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. She was sound asleep, and uh, he came to the window, her window. She had broken up with him about six months before, mm -hmm. and she had a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So he came to her window of her bedroom. She was home from UCSB for the Thanksgiving holidays, mm -hmm. and she only had, this was like uh, Sunday night. She was leaving the next morning to go back to school. Mm -hmm. So about one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning, uh, he banged on her window, woke her up, and we later found out he said he told her he was going to go commit suicide. Oh. And so, uh, as I say, she he knew her well enough to know that she would jump out of bed, sure. race into her car, drive down to his house, which was two blocks away, and she walked. She drove her car and did a Huey around the driveway so she could mm -hmm. drive out very quickly with the keys in her hand.